Digital Touch for me has been an important tool in my retouching journey. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything about the Touch for me and how it actually works. So let's start with the key. So instead of spending a lot of time trying to remove blemishes on your image, with the Touch for me key, you can actually remove your blemishes in just one click. So all you have to do is just duplicate your background layer by pressing your Ctrl J. And after you download the Retouch on me, so I'm going to come to my filter right here, click on Retouch on me, and just click on the heal right here. And what the heal does is that it's just going to remove the blemishes from your image. And the result is really, really amazing. So after that, finish loading, if I just click on this plus icon to see it. So from here, you can actually move the sensitivity. So if you don't want the whole blemishes to be removed, you can just take the sensitivity down and you can see the parts of the blemishes which is being removed like this. So the part that are white and the part of the blemishes that is being removed. So I'm going to take it to 100% and just show you the before and after. So if I just zoom in, we are going to see the before and after. So take a look at the image. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, you can choose to make mask or just click on apply. So I'm going to click on apply right here. I'm just going to remove the blemishes from us for the image. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. So this is just one of the many things you can do with the retouch on me. You can actually use the retouch on me to do your micro the jam bond. You can use it to clean backdrop. You can also use it to make the eyes white. I want to show you everything you can actually do with the retouch on me right now. So what about micro the jam bond? Unless I want to do micro the jam bond for this image right here. We all know how long it takes to actually do micro the jam bond if you want to do it manually. But with the retouch on me, you can actually do your micro the jam bond in just one click. So to do that, I'm going to create a stamp symbol here again by pressing on command option shift E. And I'm just going to come back to my filter, click on retouch on me, and just click on retouch on me dodge and burn right here. So it's just going to load, and what it's going to do, it's just going to do the micro dodge and burn for me. All right. So it has finished loading. Let me just make it a full screen. So if I just zoom in right now and just show you the before and after, you are going to see the effect. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here for the blend, you can choose the amount of the micro dodge and burn or the dodge and burn you want for your image. So I usually leave my to 200 and I can reduce the opacity later. And also from here, you can see the warm slider. You can actually move the warm slider to make the judge above more if you want. So and this works for me. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, I'm just going to click on apply right here. So it's just going to open like this. And basically, you can see where it's dodge and where it's born. So from here, I'm just going to change the blend mode to soft light to bring back the original image. So see the before and the after before and the after so that's for the dodge and burn it's pretty amazing and super easy to use so another feature i want to talk about is the skin mask option so let's say i want to mask out the skin of my image and just work on the skin separately what i can do i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer again and just add a layer mask to the stamp visible layer and just come to filter click on retouch on me and just click on skin mask right here now what the skin mask is going to do it's just going to mask out only the skin for us and we can actually make color grading on the skin it's not going to affect any part of the image for us so let's just allow it to load right now and you can see so it has finished loading so you can see it just make a selection of the skin for us and from here i'm just going to click on apply and if i turn off my background layer you can see only the skin tone is being selected right now and for me what i can do if i want to change the color or just make any color adjustment on the skin let me just turn on my layer back I can just come to my solid color, so I'll click on my adjustment layer, click on solid color, and just choose the clipping mask icon. So let me just choose any color right now. Let me choose this color. So I want to clip this solid color to affect only the skin tone. So I press option or alternate if I use the windows and just clip it. All right, now you can see it's affecting only the skin tone. And for me, you can see this part is not selected. You can manually add this part to the selection. So I'll click on the layer mask, pick my brush tool, and just add this part of the skin to the selection manually right what i can do from here i'll just come to this solid color adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal to color like this and from here i can just play with the color any color i want the skin tone to have like this um let's use a more realistic color so let's say i want the skin tone to have this orange color right here i just gonna click on okay and what i can do from here i'm just going to reduce the opacity of the solid color adjustment layer just like that so see the before and the after the before and the after and from here you can just play with colors and just change the skin color to any color you actually want and just reduce the opacity just like that so, so you can mask out your skin and just make adjustments specifically to your skin tone all right 
Now, another key feature I want to talk about is the clean backdrop right here. So, if you just look at the background right here, and I want to clean this backdrop, you can see how dirty it is. So, I'm going to press Ctrl J or Command J and just duplicate my background layer. Now, to clean this backdrop, I'm going to go to Filter, come to Retouch on Me again, and just click on Retouch on Me Clean Backdrop right here. So, right now, it's just going to load. And once it's finished loading, it's just going to automatically clean the backdrop for us. Believe me when I say the result is really amazing. Now, since processing, if you use the link in shop below this video to purchase the Retouch of Me, you are going to get 30% off any purchase you make right now because they are on summer sale. And I would recommend this plugin if you're a photographer or you're a retoucher and you're actually making money off photography and retouching because it's quite expensive. Also, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, with the cloud retouching, you can actually purchase credits. That one is quite cheap. So you can use one credit to retouch one image. So if you're interested, use the link in the description below to get 30% off your purchase right now. Let me just put it on full screen. So you can see the before and after. So see the before and the after. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. Take, just take a look at the backdrop. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, if you don't want it to affect the subject, you can just click on this auto mask right here and it will automatically mask out the subject and just apply this effect only on the background. And also for the blend, you can choose to take the blend down if you don't want the effect to be too strong or you can choose to take it off if you want to clean it perfectly. So I prefer to leave mine at 100. 100 always works for me. So for me, you can actually choose to make mask and once you just click on apply, this effect is just going to save as a mask inside of Photoshop. So see the before and the after. And from here, you can just add the layer mask and just remove it from where you don't want it to affect. So you can see the results for the backdrop. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you feel it's too much, you have the option to reduce the opacity just like that. All right, so that's for the background cleanup. Another key feature I want to talk about is the fabrics right here. So let's say I want to straighten up these fabrics. So all I have to do is just duplicate my layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Come back to Retouch on Me again. Click on Retouch on Me and just click on Fabrics right here. Now what this does is that it's just going to try and use Dodge and Bond to straighten up the fabrics. So if your subject has wrinkles on the clothes, you can actually use this Retouch on Me fabrics to fix those wrinkles. Right, once I do that, it's just going to load right now and you're going to see the before and the after. So it has finished processing. Let me just put it on the full screen so you can see. So let me zoom in so you can actually see the before and the after. All right. So let's take a look at the clothes. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. The before and the after. And from this blend right here, if you feel it's too much, you can choose to take the blend down. If you feel it's not enough, you can choose to take the blend off. So I feel 100 always works on me. So from here, just click on apply and we are good to go. This is before the fabrics and after the fabrics. Before the fabrics, after the fabrics. Now there's a new feature inside this retouch on me called the cloud retouch right here. Now this new retouch on me cloud feature right here is for users who want to test out the retouch on me plugin and see how it works. Or for users who want the experience of the retouch on me but don't want to buy the plugin. Or for people who want to save money and still get the retouch on me features right now how this works is that this works with credits now with just one credit you can use all the features right here so you can choose the you can use the here you can use the dodge and bone you can use the purchase volume you can use the skin tone with just one credit now you also have the option with slider right here to choose the amount of the sensitivity so for the heel i'm going to take the sensitivity to 100 percent also for the dodge and bone i said i'm going to take the one to 15 and I also take the blends to 200 percent and just turn it on. So any plugin you want to use, you can just turn it on and just click on retouch after. So if you click on retouch, it's just going to process this image, you just retouch your image with the cloud. But you need the internet connection before this cloud retouch can for sure. You also have this on device. Now this will work with your device. So if you already purchased the plugin, you can just turn anywhere you want to use and just click on retouch instead of coming to filter and just select the one you want to retouch. So this one right here is like an action for you. So moving on to color grading, we have this feature which you can use to copy color from any image and paste it to your own image. So let's say I want to copy this color right here and paste it on my image right here. All I have to do, I'll first of all duplicate my layer. After duplicate my layer, I'll come to filter again, click on retouch on me and just click on color match right here. Now once this tab open, I'm going to load the reference image. So I'll click on load reference and just select the image which I want the color grading to look like. So this is the image right here. I'm going to click on open. And it's just going to load and automatically copy the image for me. You can also play with the luminous, right? You can also play with the smoothing slider right there, and also play with the color slider right there if you want. So let's go to the before and after. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, with this blend right here, you can choose to take the blend up to increase the intensity of your color, 
or bring it down to reduce the intensity of the color. So see the before and the after. Because save this color grade as a lot, so you can just click on export lot and save it as a lot. But for now, I'm going to click on apply right here. It's just going to apply the color for this image right here to my image right here. So let's see the before and after. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Another feature I want to talk about is the skin tone features. So let's say I want to even on the skin tone of my subject. The way to do that is after I place my layer, I'll come back to filter again. You can retouch on me and just click on this skin tone right here. And what this is going to do, it will automatically try to even out the skin tone for me without me doing it manually. So let's just highlight it right now so I can show you the before and after. All right, so this feature right here, I'm just going to try and match the skin tone. So let's click the before and after. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. All right, so see the before and the after, the before and the after. And from here, you can just play with the blend to make the intensity, to make it more intense. So let's click the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. From here, I'm going to hit on apply. So you can actually see the before and after. All right. So it has automatically fixed the skin tone for us. So let's take a look at the before from here. So this is the before. You can see some great things are on the image. This is the after. Looking more orange right now. Now that feature I want to talk about is the eye vessel and also the eye brilla. So let's I want to remove those red veins inside the eyes. What I can do, I can cover my filter right here. Just click on retouch on me and click on eye vessels right here. And what this is going to do, it's just going to try to remove those red veins inside the eyes for me. All right, so let me just zoom in so you can see the before and after. Just take a look at the eyes. All right, so see the before and the after. Just take a look at the eye veins. The before and the after. The before and the after. And for me, if it's too much, you can just take the blend down or take it up. But I try to leave my hundred percent. So I'm going to click on apply right here. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, what if I want to make the eyes white or I want to brighten the eyes? What I can do is to come to filter again, click on retouch on me and click on eye brilliance right here. And what this is going to do is just going to try and just make the eyes bright and white. So let me just zoom in so you can see the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, you can play with the blend, take it up like this or take it down if you want. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. So I think I'm going to take it down a little bit and just hit on apply right here. So you're just going to make the eyes white. Now what about the teeth? If I want to make the teeth white, I want to create a stamp visible layer again, All right? Now I'll come to filter again, come to retouch on me and click on teeth white me right here. So what this teeth white is going to do, it's just going to try and make the teeth white. Like there's a lot of option you have with the retouch on me a lot and if you use the next shop we are going to get 30% off any purchase make with the retouch on me because right now they are doing summer sale so if you buy anyone right now you are getting 30% off so check the link in the description below of this video so it's just going to load that so let me just zoom in so you can see right so just take a look at it see the before and the after the before and the after the before and the after and from here you can choose to whiten it even more if you want so the before and the after before and the after you can choose to brighten it if you want before and after but i think i'm just going to take the whitening down a little bit because i'm seeing a tint of blues which i don't really like so i want to take it down a little bit so that this works for me so see the before and the after the before and the after from here i want to click on apply i'm just going to apply that so let's really take a look at the before and after so see the before the teeth whitening and after the teeth whitening before the teeth whitening and after the teeth whitening all right so now the last feature i want to talk about is the mattifier now the modifier is, let's say I want to reduce the highlights of this image. You can see the highlights are pretty too obvious. So let's say I want to reduce them. What I can do, I'm just going to press Ctrl J. Just going to filter again. Come to retouch on me and click on the modifier right here. So I'm just going to wait for that to load. So once that's finished loading, if I just change the front after, let's take a look at the highlights on the image. See the before and the after. The before and the after. The before and the after. You can see it has actually come the highlight. And you can choose to take the blend up even more if you want to make the effects more intense. Or if you feel it's too much, you can choose to take the blend down if you want. Like so. So I think I'm going to take it down a little bit. Then this works for me. So see, see the before and the after. So you can use this particular to reduce the highlights on your image. So I'm going to click on apply right here. I'm just going to apply that effect to the image. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. So there are a lot of features inside the retouch of me. 
And if you want to learn how to use the touch on me to touch my image, it's just one click. Check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.